Hey Vikings fans, Tatum Everett here alongside NFL Network's Maurice Jones-Drew and we are so pumped that you're here with the NFL Network covering the Minnesota Vikings today. And you have a lot of connections, strangely enough, yeah. to this team. Yeah, very connected. Uh, running back coach Kennedy Pola coached me uh, in Jacksonville. We actually recruited me out of high school to USC. I chose to go to the better school, UCLA, so kind of a little bit there. But speaking of UCLA, Eric Kendricks and Anthony Barr, uh, two of your greats on defense were Bruins, which I know really well. Uh, Phil Rauscher, the new O-line coach, was my college teammate. Which is crazy. We're in a group chat, so I, I forgot to text him, tell him I was here. But he's gonna be surprised. You're he'll here. be. Yeah, I'll come up and maybe you know dap him from afar, however it may be. And then, Ficken, your special teams coach, was a GA for me when I was a freshman in college. So. Well, welcome to town. I'm sure there would be several people excited to see you here as well as a lot of fans. But we, we have to start off with the running back position. No Dalvin question. Cook, one of the best in the league. Where do you think his season can go this year? I, I thought last year he, he played lights out. Uh, I think if they utilize him more out of the backfield, he's a tremendous receiver. Um, I know speaking with obviously K Kennedy Pola and other guys, that they're, they're trying to find ways to get him the ball in space. Tremendous in space, either through screens or running routes out of the backfield, even lining up at wide receiver sometimes. I know you guys have some really good ones, but uh, he, he's a mismatch for the defense. And so uh, really excited about kind of his growth. I love the system that you guys are running. It's one that I always wanted to be a part of when I was playing. Never could really got that offensive coordinator to come over. But um, it's exciting to see what he's done. I mean, I can't really put numbers on it, but I think he'll be, again, if not an all pro up there, uh, mentioned with the all pros in, uh, this year. We've already had a Phil Rasher name drop, but he's got a big, tall task with this offensive line, a bit of a, of a new guy feel to it, a couple of new faces. How how hard or how important is it to build that chemistry, and do you think this, this group has it? Yeah, I think uh, it's very important. Uh, one, because your offense is only going to go as your offensive line goes, right? And so consistency comes with being available and playing and not getting hurt. And, and Phil Rauscher's done a great job. He's been in this system for, I want to say, five or six years, if not more now. Uh, so he understands. So it's a great opportunity for him to go out and show what he can do. Um, and it's a great opportunity for those guys to go out there. You know, again, this offense was lights out last year. The defense struggled a little bit. Um, but you, you better the defense. You get guys back from injury. Um, I think, again, this team has what it takes to go to the next level. So I can't wait to see how this offensive line takes this offense and this team as they go on. We have already mentioned Kendricks mm -hmm. and Barr, two of the best linebackers in the league, especially when working together. They have the UCLA bond down yeah, pat. Like but besties. Exactly. They're besties. You know, Zim you talked know. about that today. Even he said they just enjoy playing together. What is it about, I guess, not only being, you know, just amazing linebackers, but being able to play with someone you have such a great and, and long relationship with. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Um, I, I actually got drafted to Jacksonville with Mercedes Lewis, who I played against in high school, played with in college, and it just makes your, you feel more comfortable quicker. You know, you have that person you can lean on if you're dealing with some type of things. And when you're both on the same side of the ball, you're learning the same things, right? Obviously, Kendricks is going to call the defense, but he can talk to Anthony about how he feels and vice versa. And they, they can go about it. And they can be a better unit or as two. They'll be a better unit for this defense, which obviously help out Coach Zimmer. But uh, it's, it's tough when those guys aren't on the field, right? Because, you know, Kendricks is your leader on defense, and Anthony Barr does a great job of doing a little bit of everything, right? If getting out the quarterback via sacks or – if he's uh, being coverage on guys, like he and he's a he's a hitter, so uh, it's 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 tough when those guys aren't there. And I think the biggest thing when you look at the Vikings from last year is like that defense just was banged up the whole year, and so you're expecting those guys to come back. I know they uh, actually. It's so funny. I follow them on IG, and they were in Barcelona. I love Barcelona, so I was like, hey man, how was it? Like, you know, go to this place or maybe check this out. Actually, I'm kind of sad that I wasn't invited, but it's all good. No UCLA reunion in Barcelona, huh? That well, I mean, they're much younger than I am, so. <laughs> It's it's part of it, but yeah, no, yeah, exactly. No, no right. UCLA thing. Where's but the love? I think that I think again, getting those guys back is going to be awesome. And um, like again, playing with a, your, your a friend or your best friend or whatever it may be, a guy that you played in college with, is always going to be you know top for you. Well, we enjoy having you here and covering the Minnesota Vikings. Thank yeah. you so much to the NFL Network's Maurice Jones-Drew for being with us here, right here on Vikings.com.